There's no secret. There's no shortcut. Everything that is alive is conscious. Be silent. Be still and know God. Until you feel worthy, it ain't going to happen. Rigorous, ruthless, disciplined focus. You have to get to a place where you can work on yourself. If you are looking to live at the tip of the spear when it comes to health optimization, join my private membership group, Fully Optimized Health. Dot com and get the latest and greatest on hormone optimization, peptides, fitness, fat loss, and most importantly, raising your vibration. Again, go over to fullyoptimizedhealth.com and sign up today. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be around the world. I am Jay Campbell, and of course, you are watching the Jay Campbell podcast, and I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual StreamYard studio with the one and only... Trina Felber from Primal Life. How are you, I'm Trina? super, I'm really, really good. I'm so excited to mouth off with you today, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> to mouth off. Yes, we are going to be mouthing off. And uh, she, Trina is the wife of a good friend of mine, Josh Felber, who's been in my fully optimized health group for almost a year now. Uh, and Josh is also the founder and CEO of a lot of things, but the Making Bank podcast. And he's an amazing dude. And him and I have become really close friends in the last couple of months. And I really didn't know anything about his primal life company until about, I think it was like three months ago, he sent me this gigantic box and my wife was like, and that happens, uh, you know, fortunately or unfortunately nowadays, a lot of times from different people, but my wife was like, what is primal life? And I'm like, I don't know, open it. I was away and they did. And, and you guys literally, it was amazing. And I'm honestly very humbly and privileged and grateful. You guys sent us like a lot of valuable stuff. It was like electric toothbrushes, teeth whitening system, red light, blue light, teeth whitening, uh, detox products, toothpaste. I mean, you name it. And now my whole family, <laughs> that's all they use. They threw away all their stuff. They all had, you know, the oral B electric toothbrushes. And now they're just using your toothbrushes. And I've given away, man, at least three or four of the toothbrushes to people who have come over to the house and they're, you know, using it. They'll send me pictures and stuff. So anyway, we're very grateful for that. So this podcast is obviously a long time coming, but let me give you guys um, her bio. She is the founder, of course, of this company, Primal Life Organics, and they are truly revolutionizing healthcare and dental care. 25 years as a nurse, she's now an oral health expert, which you guys will hear shortly on this call or this podcast. And then she's obviously always advocating for natural solutions. And that's why she's on the Jay Campbell podcast, because you don't see me with very many allopathic professionals anymore, because I mean, it's kind of folding up. But um, before I, you know, before we jump in, um, as I've been doing probably this year with the Jay Campbell podcast and for the purposes of discussion, today is leap year, Thursday, February 29th. So it is one of those every four years day that day exists. So we, you know, conjured this day up out of the Gregorian calendar. Um, I want to just kind of ask you as I do, um, where are you right now on the buying or selling of humanity? right? Like, are we on the short bus to destroying the planet or are we in the middle of a golden age? I think that we're on both ends of the spectrum right now and there's very little in between. So you're either in the destructive phase of uh, humanity or you are in the building. And I think that's why we see so much animosity right now because there's not too many souls out here that are like, well, whatever happens, happens. You, We are all very passionate about where we stand and it's it's polar opposite. So I think that's why there's so much disruption going on in humanity right now. I love that answer. It, it really is. It's like two poles, two sides. It's It really is. You know, I say every day, it's like you either are of a high vibration, positive, manifesting whatever reality you create because obviously we create our re- we create our reality with our thoughts or you're the opposite and you're in victimhood blaming whoever or whatever you know for your issues so you're right all you have to do is today is just choose a positive mindset embrace you know the attitude of gratitude i know it's cliche but it's true just be grateful you know for what you have you know I, my, my wife always says every day she's just wiggle your fingers and realize that some people can you know but that's an awesome answer. All right, well, let's jump into this. And I'm, you know, as I told you, I'm very fascinated about oral health. Um, you know, at an early age, I learned about plaque and gum disease and, you know, we can get really technical, but all that stuff and how honestly, like poor gum health and poor periodontal health, 
actually leads to massive levels of inflammation, heart disease, heart attacks. It's crazy how little people understand about how important, obviously, the microbiome is. And obviously, without, without proper uh, dental and oral health and hygiene, you're on the fast track to disease, you know, especially today, right? Because the chemicals in the food, the air, the water, I mean, it's very difficult in the United States or really most first world, you know, westernized countries to maintain proper health or proper oral health care. But, you know, can you talk a little bit about that link between all those things that I just Absolutely. talked about? Absolutely. Oral health is, um, actually the Surgeon General even said that oral health is the the mirror, if you want to put it that way, the mirror to internal health. So if you open the mouth and you see signs of disease or signs of inflammation and what that looks like, first of all, the very first yeah. thing that happens is bad breath. We have normalized bad breath to make it um, okay. And then so that we can use products that actually cause more damage to our health. So breath mints, gum, mouthwash, things like that. That's really, really, those are the silent killers. And we use those consistently throughout the day until you're aware of that. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the mouth is the mirror. And if you see signs of inflammation, which is bleeding gums. So when you're brushing your teeth or flossing, if you have blood, you have just disrupted that membrane that is supposed to be intact and keep bacteria and virus and right. fungus and inflammation out of the body. Um, cavities, gum disease are all signs of inflammatory disease. And if you reduce yeah. the inflammation inside the mouth, you will reduce inflammation in the body because the mouth, the gum tissue actually is the main portal of entry for inflammatory things. So as soon as your gums become inflamed, and I call it leaky gum syndrome, just like leaky gut, same That's thing. Awesome. Leaky yes, gum the same syndrome. thing. And actually, typically it starts yeah, inside yeah. the mouth. And if you if you have yeah. leaky gum syndrome, you're allowing pathogens to enter your body. And the difference is inside the gum tissue, you have a very high volume of blood. It's a great blood flow, which right. is why you get bleeding very quickly in the gums. That blood flow doesn't go to, to the like when you ingest something the blood goes to through the portal vein into the liver to be detoxified right. in the mouth in the gum tissue that doesn't happen the blood that is absorbing these toxins is vascular blood it goes back to your right. lungs to be reoxygenated then directly to your heart which is why the heart you were talking about plaque yeah is so connected yeah. but then the heart pumps the blood full of these toxins throughout the body including the brain and if your brain is leaky which happens a lot of times between fluoride and aluminum the aluminum and antiperspirants sure. opens up that gate right. and now you've got this inflammation throughout the body and it's that is well, so, so hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask you this. Cause it's crazy to think about this. And I, and it's like, you're triggering me. I'm thinking all these thoughts I never thought before, but, um, think about people with fluoride. I mean, fluoride with mercury and you know, the fill, the fillings right. that they right. have in their mouth. 100%. And here's the other thing with mercury fillings that no one's talking about. No one's telling you if you're an adult over the age of 45, you chances are, unless you've gotten them all moved, removed, chances are, if you have fillings, they're mercury. So there's a lot of there's a lot That's of right. adults over the age of 45 that still have mercury fillings in their mouth. And no one's telling you that yeah. if you use anything with peroxide inside your mouth. So I'm talking about toothpaste. I'm talking about mouthwash. And I'm also talking about I have two teeth still. whitening products. Yes. Mouth, the peroxide causes mercury fillings or the mercury to vaporize. There's... A, there's leech, actually, yeah. there used to be a video and I've searched for it. So I don't know if it was taken down because. No, they uh, removed it. I've heard yeah, of the story. Too. It's, it's the removed. smoking tooth. Yes. Where somebody showed uh, putting peroxide on a mercury filling and it's smoking. So that's what happens inside the mouth. And then you're inhaling mm. that because that airspace is all airspace. It's like the nose is connected to the mouth is connected to the sinuses because of your breathing you inhale it into your lungs so there's how it's going to also get to the rest of the body and then in the mouth you swallow it it gets to your gut and then we end up with leaky gut because that type of stuff destroys our good microbiome in our gut that's exactly right and i i'll tell you this too it's mind-blowing so i still have two and i'm really good friends i'm sure josh knows uh dom you know the big bioidentical dentist in in germany he's like all over it, uh instagram or, or or the internet if he's not i'll connect him because you should definitely bring him on his podcast but uh 
and he'd be a perfect match to you for you and him to talk. But um, he's been begging me to come over there, right? And I just through time and you know one of my good friends chris gathen literally just did it last week and he's like mate you gotta do it i feel so much better and i i probably eventually will do it just you know it's just finding the time because first you have to go over there and have to take them out and then you got to come back and redo it and there's just a bunch of stuff but um trina i was thinking as you were talking and i have not had i, I always do this i've not had a single cavity in my mouth since i was 27 or 28 and i never thought but after listening to you the reason i don't is because i have such low inflammation and i do all these protective things like taking metformin I, optimizing my mitochondria keeping a very cleansed microbiome you know obviously i have low body fat but i'm doing all these things whereas like when i was younger and i wasn't eating as clean and i wasn't taking things to optimize my microbiome I got mm -hmm. cavities. And so I never even thought of that because I was always like, wow, you know, every time now I go to the dentist, it's kind of like, I got that streak going. You know, and I'm always thinking there's going to be like a little one that will come up or something, but I don't have any. And it's crazy. And I'm not like, you know, mid vigilant where I floss twice a day. I mean, I use a water pick at least once a day. But I mean, I do my, I call, I consider my oral hygiene acceptable. I, I, I brush twice. I definitely floss, you know, every other day, but I, I do the water pick daily. I mean, a lot of people now are saying, and you, maybe you can comment that, that even flossing is dangerous, especially if you have a lot of plaque and you have oh, a lot of buildup. 100% but, um, because most people have no oral right. health hygiene. It's and here's oral. the key, like you just said, what, like sometimes what you're doing, you think you're doing it because it's going to be good for you. But if you've got plaque buildup right, and you are flossing right. and you're breaking, yeah, you're yeah. breaking that floss off the, or the plaque off, you're breaking it up, but yet you are bleeding. You've just opened yes. that portal of entry for bacteria because beneath the plaque, the Crazy. bacteria is living. Here's what's interesting about what you said about why you don't, because you're, you're super healthy. So you, the, it's the body secretion no one's talking about and it's, and it's your saliva. Right internally right. the enzymes it's the enzymes and it, in the saliva, it's the correct? enzymes yeah. it's the it's there's proteins in there there's antimicrobial right. ingredients antibacterial antiviral this is one of the reasons that viruses of all kinds are supposed to be destroyed inside the mouth so that you don't inhale them right. you don't inhale a live virus you don't inhale or swallow a live virus it doesn't get to your sinuses so many people when they clear up their mouth their sinus infections go away and so 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 yeah. do their gut health issues and so do um breathing issues because you it's all connected but yeah, but through the connected. saliva yeah. that is your pathway your internal pathway that's the only internal pathway that you have for oral health and that is what is supposed to be protecting you 24 7 around the clock but here's the problem the the dental products on the market and i'm talking even but not crap. only that, even the natural <laughs> ones aren't formulated correctly. They're actually causing more acid in the mouth and you cannot have acid in the mouth. That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, to ask. What toothpaste is actually healthy? What toothpaste that they sell over the counter in pharmacies or Walgreens or Target or, Mar or Walmart actually is healthy? Is there All any? right. So that's a, that's a loaded question because I have my own toothpaste <laughs> to <laughs> the counter. But here's what I, It's a J. Campbell I, I know. Here's what I'm going to tell you. So while the big C conglomerates out there, you know, the big ones with the blue color and the red color, I can tell you 100% yeah. those are killing you. They're actually destroying your health. They're yeah, causing sure. cavities and yeah, gum disease yeah, yeah. because they're. I haven't used that toothpaste in 20 But there's years. a lot of people that don't realize that that is still bad. But even the natural products yeah. that are out there, while well, they're better, okay? So they are better for you, but they're probably not. Yeah, like I, I, before you guys, I was using yeah. Hello. I was using the Hello, and then I was using their charcoal version, but I just so used So what the now. difference between the way I formulated my products and the Hello versions and other products that are natural is that it, there's three things. So basically, did, did you ever hear the story of my daughter and how I got into this? 
that my daughters do? No, Josh. Let me let me tell you me. really quick how I got into this because this might explain a lot, lot while I'm such a, a like a freak about dental health. So my daughter at the age of two had a molar erupt that had this defect in it. We took her to the dentist. He said that's a natural cavity. It happened in utero when that tooth was being developed. So he said this the defect is right. so bad that we're going to have to put a filling in it. So we'll put a temporary filling in it. The temporary filling will last two to three months. And every time the filling falls out, we'll decide now: do we pull the tooth or do we put another temporary? filling. But I fully expect that we will have to pull the tooth within one year. And so when I was leaving, because I know the Meridian channel that runs from every tooth yeah. to every to the organs, and it's a pathway that connects yeah. the, the, the oral health to internal health as well. But I knew about that. And so I was upset. So he says to me, don't worry, mom, we put a temporary filling in it. Now we just hope for the best. And that was a line of BS for me. I thought there is no way. You're no. like, that's it. So I went home, I did my research. Yeah. I found Dr. Weston A. Price, who I don't know if you've heard of Dr. Weston A. Price. He was a dentist in the early 90s. Yeah, I do. I, I know. Who early is, 1900s. Yeah. Yep. But I used everything that he researched and discovered about oral health and I formulated products. So the takeaway for me is that dental products, if you want them to work, for you and prevent cavities, pre prevent heart disease and internal inflammation. There's three things that they have to do. And this is where even d natural dental products fall short. So first of all, they have to be alkaline. This is the number one way that when you're looking at hello, there's nothing in there that is making that product alkaline. Without it being alkaline, it's not able to neutralize the acid and the plaque. So plaque is basically an acid buildup. And the best way to get rid of plaque is to neutralize it with something that's alkaline. You can literally erase plaque just by with like baking soda type of ingredients. And baking soda is what I suggest and what I use. So how do you know your product's got alkaline? What? Make sure it's got baking soda in it. That's what we use. The second yeah. thing is it's got to have minerals. Right. If it doesn't have minerals in it and your teeth don't just have calcium and phosphate, they have manganese and magnesium and silica. So I use a clay-based right. ingredient. We use clay because clay has all of those ingredients or minerals in them to remineralize your teeth. So you can actually put the minerals back in the teeth that is supposed to be in there. And then the third thing is you have to detox the tissues of the mouth. And this is where the healing of the gum tissue happens. And it can speed healing when you get, cleanse the tissues. You know, I don't have to tell you, Jay, that if you detox something, you're going to get rid of all the pathogens that are causing inflammation and the tissue can actually heal very rapidly. But the problem with yeah. healing in yeah. the in in society is that there's so much inflammation that healing can't happen. So those are the three things. So when you're looking at ingredients or products, the reason they fall short is they don't satisfy those three things. When I created my products, I created my entire dental line to satisfy those three requirements for oral health. That's an amazing story. I mean, I, I'll add to you this story. So, I mean, just, this is just a sample, but dentists are so brainwashed. That, that's the most brainwashed allopathic medical medical class. There's been opinion. no changes in right? in years. Well, well, this is what I did literally just two years ago when I lived in San Diego. Uh, I interviewed because I was firing my dentist because my dentist was just, I couldn't handle it. It was a her and a him, but I couldn't handle them. They weren't married. They were just co-founders and partners. And I couldn't handle them anymore. So I went on a quest. It was basically for my daughter's who are now 16 and 14. So at that time there were 12 and 10 or uh, 14 and 12, uh, maybe 13, 11, whatever. And I was interviewing them about fluoride and I swear to God, <laughs> Trina, I interviewed 11 dentists and this is in San Diego. This is not podunk flyover country, United States out of the 11, not a single one of them told me that fluoride was unhealthy or, or bad for you. I'm not kidding you. Like I, I you know, and they didn't know who yeah. I was and I didn't matter. And I, you know, I wasn't trying to put them under the gun. I just was like very open-ended, like, what are your opinion? What is your opinion on fluoride? I mean, it was so eye-opening and mind-blowing to me at very, at, the, at most of them, I was like, okay, cool. You know, I just stopped and turned it. But the last guy was a dental, uh, 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 um, he was a veteran, uh, you know, and he, 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 he was, uh, his whole pitch was that, you know, he was a uh, 30 years in the Navy and. You know, he does deals for people in the, in the military. And so I'm, you know, I have a big heart for the military, ex-military and whatnot. So I went to him and I basically just started talking to him about it. And I said, where do you get your information from, bro? <laughs> and it, and then it opened up, it, you know, he actually was like, 
honestly, I wasn't aware of any of this. And I'm like, well, bro, you need to educate yourself. And so that the problem is, is that they're so, Trina, they're so filtered in the information that they oh, get. Oh, 100%. That they don't think to go outside of conventional medical means and, 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 and education. It's all an educational. They're yeah. literally brainwashed. Mm -hmm. They're, they are educated to drill, fill and bill. And here's the interesting yes. thing. What I drill, fill <laughs> and bill. Oh, no. It's totally what they're, point. that's how they're educated. And they are afraid that if they don't have to drill and fill, they won't be able to bill you. And they don't realize there is a massive need and a lot of money to be made when you don't drill and fill. And that you improve health. My daughter's tooth. So I figured out super early that he was right. We would have to pull that tooth within a year if we didn't do something. So I made my dental products. That tooth that was supposed to be pulled within a year lasted the lifetime of the tooth that fell out naturally at the age of 10 or 12. It was 10 years later. And the original temporary filling, temporary fillings only last two to three months, was still in place because the tooth had actually remineralized and protected protected the tooth from bacteria. It put a hard layer of minerals in on top of that filling to prevent bacteria from getting inside. That tooth fell out naturally. 10 years that lasted. Original temporary filling still in place. So what you're saying is so true. And dental, the dental industry has not changed. It has not evolved, except and, and I do have to give a shout out to all the holistic and biological dentists out there because yeah, they are really now. doing great. Yeah. They're doing phenomenal. Yes. And they are, you know, against the fluoride and um, they do do the connection. They, they look at whole body health on top of just dental health. So if you're looking for a dentist and I have a great one in LA, if you're interested, but um, there, they do, ha they, there's a lot of biologic and holistic dentists. Sometimes you have to drive. Here's yeah. how important it is to me. I live in Ohio and my dentist is in LA because I, she's yeah. phenomenal. She's biological. And I believe in going to someone who I tr truly think is phenomenal. Yeah, of course. I mean, you should, no one should go to any dentist that's not a biological holistic dentist. And I'll quote me on that. I mean, I, I, you made a, you made a deal. You, you got on paper. Very few people give me quotes that I write down. That was so profound. That, that's going to be on your podcast uh, for sure. And we'll put that as a clip, but um, dude, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I, I was actually blown away because again, it's San Diego. You figure you're going to get a couple of people that are like on top of it. One of the person, one of the people I did, you know, call, called himself, not a bio identical dentist, but just a natural holistic right. dentist. And it's just what, I mean, you know, people use stuff, but I mean, that's the thing is like, when you really look into mm -hmm. fluoride, it's one of the worst things that a human being can even be exposed to, let alone be so, in your mouth. Yeah. I mean, what it So does. think about this. And I get, because I we, I talk a lot about fluoride. Um, first off, there's two points that I want to make. Your body, the only reason that babies are born with fluoride in their body is because mom has fluoride in her body. As a human, we are not supposed to have fluoride in our body. It's a foreign substance. It's a toxic su right. substance. So it's not supposed to be there. Secondly, people aren't even told that fluoride causes a decrease in testosterone level. And this impacts both right. men and women oh. sexually and for, yeah. and for fertility. And in a day and age when there's so much infertility and the answer to infertility is here, take these drugs yeah. and here, let's inject you with these hormones and here, let's disrupt yeah. all of this. I mean, there's a simpler solution and it's looking at the products that you're using. I'm not just talking dental, I'm talking skincare as well. Everything. Everything. We Everything. are being polluted with birth control pills through our um, through the toxic water, the water yeah. supply. and even yeah. in our personal yeah. care products and in our oral care products as well. Fluoride decreases testosterone level. What that does for men is it causes a decrease in, in sperm count. It changes the morphology so they can't swim. It changes yep. all of that. Yep. And for women, the same type of thing. It, it causes um, problems with ovulation and then with um, adherence of the, the fertilized egg into the, to the wall. I just talked about this on the podcast with John. I mean, obviously it hasn't published yet, but like we got, we went deep into this. I mean, I, you know, I tell people this all the time. I mean, again, this is not a character assassination of man or men or women today, but the entire trans blah, whatever it is, just call it the trans blah. 
is a lack of testosterone in utero to both male and female X, Y, X, O, zygotes slash embryos slash babies. And they come out sexually confused. They do not understand what it is. I, I mean, again, this is a credit to them. They don't even know what it's like to feel like a man right. or a woman. And so they're confused. And then, as you know, the system, the narrative, the dark side, whatever you want to call it, tells them that they should chop off their sexual parts and that they should you know, get the government to pay for it. I mean, it's, it's the biggest scam. I mean, look, Rick Collins who's a very, very good friend of mine is like the most prominent attorney in the world and talking about, you know, doctors that get brought up on the state medical licensing board for prescribing testosterone. He says the only reason they have an outlaw testosterone prescriptions to men via and, and women via telemedicine is because of the trans movement. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they're, th- that's the only reason they allow it. That's mm-hmm. how insane our society has gotten. But I mean, look, you're preaching to the choir. All of this is due to the chemical castration of humanity it, from the environment. We are under We are siege. chemically induced in a coma and that's what it's like. It's yeah. and and it's yeah. from yeah. it's from like you said it's in utero it's actually from conception for uh, babies that are being born to people that just don't know. They don't know that they've got fluoride in their system. They have no, they have idea. no idea. And that's what our calling is, yeah. is to wake people up and let them know that you ha- you have a yes. choice and you can change because you're not stuck. And so if someone's out there listening going, oh my gosh, I'm I'm doomed. You're not doomed because right. we, you and no. I were probably both in that situation. Our parents didn't know. So yeah, they and, and we've healed ourselves. So it's not an overnight healing, but it takes time, but you can heal and regenerate the body. That's the amazing thing. And I think that's why we're here is to offer people the knowledge and then the hope and the ability to make those changes so that you can, you and your future generations can be healthy and make those choices for themselves with a clear mind. Yeah. I mean, where do we go from that? I mean, it's just the lack of awareness is, is startling, but I mean, I, I, I hear these people talking about all this trans stuff and I realize that they're just, I mean, as you know, I mean, you know, we're, we come from the same generation. We're Gen Xers. I mean, I mean, I mean, people are lost. I mean, and then, and, and then, and there's so much lies and disinformation, right? Like, again, it's so crazy to think about, you know, getting back to the testosterone thing. I mean, look, at the end of the day, you know, I'm a good friend writing a book called Testosterone, the God Molecule. It's not out yet, but it's going to be a, a world changing book because he's going to explain to people like how testosterone is the male and yeah. female sex differentiator and how when you take a global population and you destroy the production and the natural secretion of that hormone, you create what you're creating in society right now. And yet most people don't understand Mm -hmm. this and they don't understand why they don't feel like a man or feel like a woman or feel quote unquote, you know, the energy and and, and frequency of, of, of masculinity and femininity. And it's just blows my mind the lies, no, I, the stuff that is perpetrated on social and media. And do you want to take that. that one step further? We can go to nitric oxide. And I, I'm sure you're well-versed on nitric sure. oxide and probably have spoken of about course. it, but your oral health. I'm drinking nitric oxide in my water <laughs> right now. I'm using NO2U. But what people don't realize is that, okay, nitric oxide is is so important for fertility, sexual health, sexual identity. It's for immune system, uh, sleep, heart health, of course, because it causes an increase in blood flow. But what people don't realize is that 50% of your nitric oxide is produced inside your mouth. And mouthwash and those commercial type products that have that are killing bacteria, the, the, back, the antibacterial type of products are destroying your body's ability to produce nitric oxide inside the mouth. 50% is enzymatically made in the body, but the other 50% is made inside the mouth. And you have to have healthy, healthy alkaline type of bacteria inside the mouth to convert the nitrites that you're eating in your healthy foods, your vegetables and your fruits, not the hot dogs and not the bacon, not those nitrites, but from your vegetables and your fruits, you eat those, the, the healthy bacteria inside the mouth breaks that down into nitrate or nitrite, the nitrates into nitrite. And then the nitrites are carried with your saliva. The saliva protects it into your gut and the healthy bacteria in your gut converts it to nitric oxide. The, like, here's like the mind blowing thing. 
nitric oxide has been shown to suppress the, it's been shown to treat autoimmune disease. It actually turns right. off the cell. It turns, turns it, it off. off. Yeah, of course. So we have this yeah. increase in autoimmune disease, but the body's ability to prevent that or turn that off is being destroyed by our oral care products. And until we make a yeah. switch yeah. and increase our own nitric oxide, we're not going to see health changes um, that actually happen for long term because the nitric oxide actually is needed. It's required for overall health. The scariest part of what you're talking about and what we're both talking about is that, well, let's, let's unpack it deeper. The good news is we're talking about it. <laughs> the bad news is, and I say this every day and I'm Josh and I were talking about this on a podcast and him and I are always texting each other, but like what in the world, and I mean this, I'm not joking, by the way, people, I'm not joking. We're not banting this back and forth. What in third density in this existence of space time is not set up to harm us? not there are very in fact i encourage people in my inner circle i got a bet like anybody who can come up with one thing i'll pay you a thousand dollars of bitcoin on the spot right because i mean we're literally in a system that is set up to either profit off us or kill us we're designed to gradually fail. designed to fail gradually gradually or instantly you pick the to, to, you know, the level of your, po of, of your poison. But that's the thing is like everything you just said, Trina is true. Awareness is the first step. Situational awareness, you know, the special forces, that's what they learn. Situational awareness, assess and respond. Yeah. Right. And most people in that choice of, of, of assessing the, you know, having situational awareness, which as you already said, in the beginning of the show, most people have none. Yeah. Our parents had none. Their parents had none. Now we're waking up to the, the idea that you're right. We're being attacked at all levels, but it's like, you have two choices. You can react out of fear, which is what most people do and get caught off guard and say, what do I do? I'm doomed. Yeah. Or you can exactly, or you can respond out of love, which takes time brain power, conscious thought, you know, focused words, massive loving action, you know, all those things are a choice. It, it, we still have a choice. And so that's why it's so cool to bring, when I bring people like yourself on the show who are telling people the truth, this is not BS people. We are literally in a world where everything is designed to yeah. hurt us, to, to profit off us, to poison us, to make us sicker, fatter, more diseased, more stressed more insulin resistant. I mean, I can go on and on and on, but it's like, what are you as an individual going to do to stop it from happening to yeah. you? And what's crazy and what the general public, you know this, I know this because we both have our own business. General public doesn't realize that so much out there can be manipulated and buried just by putting more of the, oh, the, the, the untruth versions of, um, information out there, you bury the truth. So just like Dr. Weston A. Price, all of his research was buried. The fact that fluoride yeah. after, uh, so the fluoride test, when they did the, the, the research on fluoride and they said, oh, fluoride helps heal cavities. It makes the enamel harder. They, what they didn't tell you is that they continued that research for years. And actually through the continuous continuation, they realized that they were wrong. Fluoride doesn't increase um, enamel hardness and it doesn't prevent cavities, but they didn't share that with you. In fact, they buried the research so you can't find it. Um, what Josh and I, this is a very good tip that I live by. Um, Josh and I went to a seminar 17 years ago um, or, or longer than that. We, we went to a couple of them. It was um, by Danny Johnson. She was, I don't know if she still does them, but a, a phenomenal speaker. But one of the things that she left me with and that I carry with me to this day is to be a three percenter, to think like the three percenters. Three percent of the population out there is doing the opposite, the polar opposite of what the rest of the world is doing. And if you want to be a three percenter in every aspect of your life, you have to stop and go, what is everybody doing? Because what everybody's doing is making themselves sicker. They're going yes to the to everything that they're being shown or told to do. But the three percenters question everything and say, wait, what is everybody doing? Because they're getting sicker. I don't want to get sicker. I'm going to do the polar opposite. And a lot of times that's how you and I, that's how we have figured out the, the information that we figured out because we didn't take that information, what everybody else is doing. We actually said, 
I don't want to do that. Let me figure out what they're doing and do the polar opposite and see if that works. And how do I feel? And then let me run with that and share it with other people if it's if I'm getting the results I want. I'm a three percenter and I know you are. So, so you're, you're three percent. I love that. I mean, like, and this is an opinion question of you. And before we end the show, I definitely want to talk about the products and light therapy. But um, what do you think? I mean, because people say this every day, people are waking up, right? But then again, we see all the crazy insanity of it not waking up. What do you really think, Trina? And obviously, you know, be as candid. It's Jay Campbell podcast, so you can be as transparent and authentic and as candid as you want. What do you think the real percentage of people that are actually waking up and know about the shit that we're talking about on the show is in society? Wow. Is it 10%? It's probably, I would say probably, you know, there's different levels. I do believe that the people that know and truly have that wisdom, the old souls are yeah. probably around 10%. You're probably right. I believe that there's that interim yeah. Yeah. of the people that are like waking up, hearing it and becoming right. more wise right. and becoming more. And I think that's a bigger percentage. I think that that's probably more like a 25 yeah. to 30%. And then the rest, I think, you know, and I'm not giving up hope, I, I really want because yeah. because what you're doing and what I'm doing is to give people the insight and the information that there's just another way of thinking out there. And it doesn't have to feel good. It doesn't have to mm. feel right. Yeah. Um, but no. nothing, nothing no. that is comfortable is actually good for you. So you have to get outside of your comfort right. zone and test things. And you can always, that's what I tell people. You can try my dental products. Guess what? You can always go back to Crest if you want. You can always go back to Listerine. <laughs> I don't care. It's not going to hurt me. I know what I'm doing. But if you want to go back to don't Crest, do it, people. you can go back. I'm not going to be at the grocery store <laughs> stopping you. Trust me. <laughs> do you know what's crazy about what you just said, though, is, I mean, I haven't used any of that Colgate, Crest, and freaking, I can't even know how long. But um, it's weird because when I stop using aerosol or, you know, the, the, the aluminum-based yeah, the uh deodorant my consciousness blew up i mean i i, I mean I, i'm always awake but i mean i mean it like when i stopped doing that and look i know you know i'm obviously athletic and muscular and i sweat i have high body temperature you know the more muscular the more heat you're giving off right it's just thermodynamics but like i would always use gillette 36 hour shit you know into my even into my early 30s and I, I can't remember who it was. It said something to me. It's like, bro, you got to stop using that type of deodorant. Like you have no idea. But anyway, I did. And, you know, I've been using the, the real, really awesome natural uh, stuff for a long time. I think Tom's and, you know, some of the other ones or whatever. And honestly, I'm telling you, it's not a coincidence. <clears throat> That's when I really became committed to my spiritual path. So it's, and it's like you do. You're right. It, it's. You have to remove these toxins from your world. Can I tell you the connection? Because that is so fascinating. I call it death by design. So because the, the dental industry pushes fluoride and the deodorant industry pushes aluminum, aluminum, here's the connection. I found this research and I my jaw hit the ground. So they have discovered yeah. that fluoride that the brain, the blood brain barrier is supposed to be super tight and super closed so that nothing can get through right. except the nutrients that your brain needs. It can penetrate yep. it. Yeah. But what happens is yeah. fluoride, because it's inflammatory, causes a weakness and weakens that juncture and opens that channel. And then aluminum is small enough then that aluminum can get into the brain. And aluminum causes yeah. confusion. It causes that that sense of lost identity. It causes slowness so that you're not awake. You're, you don't, you, you, so it's death by design. If you get rid of fluoride and aluminum, like you said, you are automatically going to be able to think better. And then aluminum of course has yeah. been associated with an increase in Alzheimer's. So it, it's death by design really. So just as a bonus question, and I do want to talk about the products. <laughs> That's what I just did a podcast on. I did a two, a eight hour webinar on who are they? Death by design. Who are the designers? Wow. Right? Like we literally just called them out and talked about who they are. And we don't have to talk about them on the show, but I mean, it's not very hard. I mean, Josh, I know watched the webinar, so I don't know if you watched them too, but like we, we know who is behind the dark side. They are a higher density, higher dimension, however you want to look at it outside of this realm of time and space. And they are this, they're the setup artists. They have created a world 
where they basically, again, profit and benefit off of our destruction. So you have to wake up to that reality. And look, you just said it. I, I love how you explained it because I agree with you 100%. 10% of people are caused awakened, advanced souls, ancient souls, whatever. Like, you can't fuck with us anymore. Like, you, you know, it's not – the Jedi mind tricks don't work on us, right? And then after that, there's literally, like you said, about 10 to 20, maybe 25% of people who are like, something's not right, right? But like when they wake up, and a lot of them are – they're in frustration. They're in justice. We got to get them back, right? So it's like the fight. And they're so difficult to like spend time with because they're so angry. You know, they want justice. I mean, remember their stage is awakening, but you're right. And then after that, like you said, God rest their soul. They probably got to reboot. <laughs> <laughs> maybe in the next life <laughs> they're gonna need the next go around and look the truth is and i say this on all my shows we're all the same yeah we're all connected you know we're all it's all unity of energy and frequency and we're all walking the same path back to source god you know creation whatever you want to call it you know perfection divinity and no rate of speed in the path back is better than another but we're at different rates and different speeds, but there's no judgment or condemnation wherever you are. So like, if you're not awake and there's nobody that watches this channel that isn't awake <laughs> because they would have deleted me. Uh, you, you know, if you're not, because we all have family members, you have family members, Josh has family members. We all have brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, friends, family, peers who aren't awake. And we can't, you know, cast dispersions on them and, you know, judge them and condemn them. I mean, you know, what we all went through with the V and all that nonsense. Like we have to accept that people are where they are spiritually and that's perfectly okay. They're where they're at. All right. I agree 100%. And they're not going to be where we want them to be. And you and I waving our hands up and down, telling them to ch use natural toothpaste and, you know, peptides and all the things that we talk about to get, you know, better life because it does give you a better life. It does raise your consciousness. That's not their path. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Right? And I love, I, I, you know, I agree. I'm a hundred percent same page as you. And I know Josh is that we are all energy and our souls. This is what, this is when this was explained to me, because I know sometimes the struggle for people is that they just don't understand how, 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 right. how, and they want answers. And so I was reading a book um, just recently, and it really explained that it, it, you've got to think about light, the afterlife, what happens in the afterlife. And we're all right. told that in the afterlife, there's no communicate, there's no voice. It's all telepathic. So we totally. have to understand that your soul that lives inside of you is still telepathically connected to all the other souls in the universe. So that is how, as you get to that next level, like we function at, that we get in tune. You can get in tune with your soul and in tune with that energy so that you can still download and be in tune with that telepathic energy in order to continue down the path. And that is what really helped me understand, right. like, how is this energy? Like, how am I still connected to the great one and to all of my guides, like, and all of, all of the souls. And it's that, it's that telepathic right. energy that we have. It's, it's our, it's our ability, ability to still be connected to the one source. That's a hundred percent right. Okay. I love you. We're, we're on the same exact wavelength. And even if we weren't, I'd still love you. You're, you're amazing. I, I've been sending messages. I've been sending screenshots of our podcast to Josh and I say, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I want to talk to you. That's usually what happens. Time, That's why dude. he doesn't let me talk to his friends. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about light therapy for the, for the, uh, for the, gum, for the gums. And you know, you're obviously amazing product, which I was saying that my daughter, Gabby uses literally every night. She walks out and she's like, Hey dad. <laughs> It's all bright, you know, dark, you know, half the time I'll be passed yes. out. Um, but just talk about that just from a standpoint of like, obviously, you know, we, I think people know about teeth whitening and stuff like that, but just the whole idea for, you know, optimizing dental health care and 
oral health care and just talk a little bit about your products. Yeah. So my idea is that we, I'm, I'm here to preserve your microbiome. Your microbiome is the, the, what I'm talking about right now is in your mouth, but we can also talk about the skin microbiome and the gut microbiome. It's protect, it's sure. protective. It is your first line of defense against everything else in the world. It's basically your first line of defense against the universe because anything that bombards you is supposed to come in contact with that. And yeah, it, yeah. that's your line, that's your shield. And we disrupt the shield. All those products disrupt the shield. So anyway, um, what I created, because peroxide is so damaging, not just to your teeth, it is really damaging to the teeth, but it's damaging to yeah. the gum tissue themselves. What it actually does, I'm a big props right. person. I don't, Josh probably isn't, but I, I, I nice. love props. So when your, your gum tissue is supposed to be super healthy, like the pink tissue here, but what happens over right. time in the, and peroxide and the alcohol-based mouthwashes and um, sodium lauryl sil sulfate and triclosan and artificial this, artificial that, the blue color, all breaks down your gum tissue to look like this. And now when it's inflamed, things leak in and can get into yeah. your bone, can get into your blood vessels and damage the roots of your teeth and all that. So what I wanted to do was create, because I know that white teeth is a sign of health and people, they did a study one time and had people go into a job interview the candidates that had poor looking teeth, yellow teeth, broken teeth. Had no yeah. Shot. Well, but they had the best experience. And then they, they had another group come in and do the same interview, but they had really good teeth, but no experience. And every single time they chose the one with no experience and good health or good, good teeth. teeth. The, and they asked them, why did you choose this candidate over the one that had the experience? And they said, because their teeth were so bad. Like, first of all, I'm afraid that they're sick <laughs> and they just don't present themselves well. They don't have a good confidence. Appearance. appearance. So yeah. anyway, yeah. I want your appearance to be beautiful. I want you to have confidence, but I want you to be healthy doing it. So I just created my teeth whitening system that is more than whitening your teeth. It actually uses red and blue LED lights. It's peroxide free. I use the three things that I I found from Dr. Weston A. Price. It's got to be alkaline, have minerals, and it has to... Um, detox the tissue. Blue light therapy was studied by Harvard. So when you put this inside your mouth, that blue light hits all of your tissues. Yeah. Blue light is phenomenal. Yeah. They discovered that blue light, that the harmful bacteria that causes cavities and gum disease has this little black piece to it that, and I like to say it's the heart. This black portion is yeah. not of in regular healthy bacteria. Healthy bacteria doesn't have this. When exposed to blue light, that piece literally explodes and the bacteria dies. So I always like to think when I put this into my mouth, I'm envisioning like popcorn bacteria that's just exploding and dying. And just like right. all light therapy, right. it's not just hitting the surface, it actually penetrates into the enamel a little bit, into the gum tissue and po the pockets are between the tissue. Um, so that's why blue light therapy is really good. And by removing that bacteria, that bacteria is yellow in color, which is the same color as plaque. And that's sometimes why your teeth look yellow is just that plaque buildup or that bacteria causing that. So this will help whiten your teeth just by getting rid of that bacteria. The red light, let me turn it to red. So red light therapy has been used for years for wound therapy, especially with diabetics yeah. and things. We use it now for anti-aging purposes. People are standing in front of these red lights. I put, took that technology and put it inside the mouth because your gum tissue is the same epithelial type cells as your other tissue. So if we can increase blood flow, reduce inflammation, and increase collagen production inside your gum tissue, you are going to have so much faster healing and regeneration and stronger gum tissue so that there's less of that opening, the junctures are closed, and less of that inflammation gets inside your body. So that's how this works. You can do one setting, the blue, you can do the, uh, the red or what most people do is the combination of the blue and the red. And how long are you doing for like three no, minutes? You know what? No, it's a minutes? 16 minute treatment and you put the gel. I suggest putting the gel directly on your finger and or a toothbrush and putting it on your, yeah, yeah and like then putting this. it right on your teeth because that's yeah. where it belongs. And then popping this in. That's what my daughter This will does. shut off on automatically after 16 minutes. It's a treatment. When you get the kit, you get 30 treat or you get 20 treatments. It's a 30 day supply. So you get... Um, yeah. we tell you to do five days a week for a month. And then after that, you just assess where you're at. And if you're happy, then go down to one or two or three treatments a week. This is something you're not going to stop doing. This is therapy for your mouth 
for prevention and health. So you're going to want to at least do it once a week, if not twice a week. Um, but you don't have to do it a full five times a week unless you want to. If you do have gum disease or problems with your gums, you can also second, you know, do a second treatment throughout the day with just the red or the blue for five to seven minutes is what I recommend. Just pop it in for five to seven. You could do three, but I recommend five to seven. And I would recommend using the gumdrops. Um, we didn't talk about the detox kit, but, and all of this stuff you're going to have links for. And um, you, because of- Yeah, I have, I have it right Yeah, here. and because of right who here. you are and all, how much we love you, um, you're we're going to give you like a huge discount. So you'll, they'll get like 60% off. You guys already say it sent me so much. No, obviously for the audience, yeah, 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 yeah. There, there'll be a discount. Totally. And, and, and I don't, we haven't set it up yet obviously, but it'll be set up in the, in the notes of this podcast when this podcast runs, it's not going to run for a little while. So you have plenty of time to do that, but it'll be, um, a code. The code will be JC. Well, actually there's no code. So they you don't guys even will be able to get, they don't need a code. Oh, nope. they don't even need a code. We, okay, you have cool. a landing page cool, cool, where cool. the discount's already in there. Um, so, That's true. You're building yep, a landing so, page. Yep, much, much easier. easier. Don't, they don't have to worry about a code. Just go there. Just okay. click through his link because that is where you will get the discount. And um, yeah. And then the detox kit is the starting package that replaces like your mouthwash and your toothpaste. Um, so anyway. Yeah. You guys have some amazing products. You guys literally have some amazing products. So I'll, you guys, so the audience for you guys, obviously this has been an amazing podcast, but you guys will be seeing me promoting a lot more of these products because obviously my entire family is using them. I believe in them and I, I don't believe in them. I know of them and I'm using them myself every day. And so should you guys be, and it's very important. So Trina, you've been amazing. Um, so again, ladies and gentlemen of the Jay Campbell uh, audience and listening universe, as always, please support the amazing folks that come on here. Uh, you can also follow Trina on IG at Primal and Facebook at Primal Life Organics or Trina Felber on IG. And then, of course, the website is, again, PrimalLifeOrganics.com. But there will be a link to a landing page that is designed specifically for me so everyone in the J. Campbell universe can go and get all these products discounted. Um, I love this toothpaste, by the way. The print, oh, what is it? Uh, sparkling Spearmint. Mm -hmm. So I was using Hello up until he sent this to me, like, I think it was in December. I'm pretty sure it was in December he sent this to me. It might have even been earlier. It might have actually been in November because I know Hunter, one of my business partners, took a bunch of it back with him and he's like <laughs> raving about it and stuff too. So anyway, guys, amazing products at PrimalLifeOrganics.com. Trina, I truly appreciate you coming on. So as always, support the amazing folks. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see everybody very soon. 